What's going on guys? Welcome back to today's video. So today is the official release date, or when this video goes live, of the new merch. Go check it out. New hoodies. Damn. Damn, bro. We've also got a whole bunch of new stickers on the website too, and I'll show you that. We've got some new stickers on the bankyspec.com website. Naki is a full rep of the Banky Spec website. These are all the OG stickers. Damn, bro. This one's new. Thank you, boy. This one's new. Yeah, bud. And this one's new. Banky Spec. Fighting spirit. My car is legitimately a moving Banky Spec advertisement. I've got like every single sticker you've ever made on my car. He's a true fan. Yeah, bud. With my Enkies. Yeah, bud. This is Lachlan's brand new R32 GTST. We won't be covering too much of this build process because it isn't my car. This is a new car in the Banky group. Lachlan's two Banky cars. You'll get to see a little bit of the progression of this R32. I really want one. So in today's video, we plan to get the manual gearbox in the car today. So we had a lot of problems um, in the previous video. You saw me at the end sort of complaining and I did make an honest mistake. So I originally thought that the flywheel that I got was the wrong flywheel because it just did not go on. So here's me admitting that I screwed up. <laughs> so it turns out on AU Falcons, the flywheel has an offset bolt. You gotta rotate the flywheel till the bolt holes line up. Um, I saw those comments, I made a mistake, and it seemed like the flywheel went on after that. So we've got the clutch on and everything, I'll quickly show you. And the next process of this is just getting the T5 in there. So I have been advised as well to take the bell housing off the gearbox and then chuck the bell housing on, then get the rest of the gearbox on the car. However, I sort of want to give it a go with the bell housing on there because it does seem like a bit of a hassle trying to get the fork to slide into the bearing. So obviously if we remove this bell housing, we'd have to like slide this all on and I don't really know if I'm able, I mean, I, uh, it makes sense that I could do that actually, but it also, uh, we'll just see what we can do. But I just feel like I need to have a go before taking the bell housing off because I don't know, it's a challenge. So we got the box in, well, sort of, we don't have the top bolts on. Couldn't really record much because it took three of us to actually get it in there. But have a look, everything lines up. I thought it wouldn't fully line up, but here we go. Have a sus. So it lines up right in the hole, goes into gear. It seems like it'd be in a good spot to shift. We don't actually have the interior piece, which sucks. So we're gonna have to source that, but we're so close now, Lachlan and I are gonna get it in. Hopefully tonight, then we'll have to source a tail shaft, then we'll probably convert the wiring harness as well because we have a spare harness and there's no point doing the wiring on the auto transmission loom because we've got a harness, so we may as well use it. And an ECU. So this calls for a celebration. Cheers, brother. Thank you, Peter. This is some good beer, bro. Crisp. JDM as hell. Sahi, yeah, baby, it's a strong beer. I like it dry. This is our technique too. Probably saw this. Oh my God, what the hell? Bro, I was supposed to show them that. This right here is our method. You probably saw this in the other video, but this is how we get to those top transmission bolts. doing now is removing the automatic transmission wiring loom and it's proved to be quite a little bit of a task because obviously the wires go everywhere so we've removed intake piping so the air box and all that and we're just comparing it to the manual harness that we have it's a little bit of a mess but it seems sort of simple Lachlan and I have done some minor wiring stuff in the past so hopefully we can figure this out so what's funny is when we try to do the gas delete um, we disconnected some of the wires for the gas tank and that disabled the car so we weren't actually able to start it 
But because we've got the manual ECU and because we've got different wires, I've decided to just chop the wires and I'm hoping that that's not gonna cause any sort of starting problems because if it does, we're gonna be a bit screwed. The manual ECU doesn't have any sort of that gas stuff, which means that the transmission that the car came out of wasn't a gas car, so it was running on petrol, which is of course what this is running on. So hopefully there's no discrepancies there and we should be good to go. I haven't been recording much because I've just been smashing it out. I already got the catalytic converter in connected, just put the exhaust back together. And now I'm trying to connect the starter. Now the starter is extremely hard to get in. Anyone who's done a starter on an AU Falcon will understand my struggles, but holy moly, there's one 13 millimeter bolt at the top, which has been such a pain. Um, thing with the Falcons, it seems like they're super easy to get your head around. It's like, oh, that makes sense. This goes here and that goes that. When you actually physically try to apply what you've thought mentally, it's impossible. You'll see the uh, angle that I'm on in a second. But to get to the starter bolt, it's not fun. I've almost got a tight, but using quarter inch ratchet. Luckily, Garage Tools has hooked us up with these incredible tools and you can just tear the quality of these. So there's lots of teeth, which means that it's a lot easier than using my old tools. So of course, I'm here to admit fault and tell you the mistake that I made. So not long ago, like literally like probably 10 seconds ago, probably like 20 seconds ago in this current video, um, obviously it's two days in the past, so the timeline's a little bit jumbled in my head. We decided to just chop the loom in specific places, you know, where, we, where I just assumed that the manual loom would line up to. And it turns out we can't even get that manual loom actually in the car because there are so many other different features in this Series 3 sedan, which means that I'm just gonna use the auto ECU and just do the wiring like I did with the chasers. So I just bridge two cables. However, it's a little bit different in an AU Falcon. You gotta use resistors and bridge a few cables together. Of course, I'm going to show you that. But yeah, I ended up having to solder everything back that I chopped. So we're still in the process of doing that. That's why there's a soldering iron on the engine bay. <laughs> but yeah, very nice. Very nice. Oh, and if you want to see where this bolt is, by the way. Oh man, you can't even see it. Oh yeah, you bro. It's freaking like all the way down in there, man. I'm going to smash this out. Get back to you when I'm at the next milestone, which hopefully we'll be starting it. I don't know. We'll see soon. Beep, 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 beep. It's now the next day and when Lachlan is working on his R32 Skyline, we're not really going to do any sort of following of this build on the channel. What we're going to do is we're going to document this whole thing on TikTok. So go follow me on TikTok. Link in the description below. And we also put some spoilers in there too. He's currently trying to get the window up because it's down and we have to put tape over it every night. And then maybe today we'll be able to start this thing. Anyway, onto the Falcon because of course that's why you clicked on this video. We picked up some resistors today. We got some from Jcar. Everything's wired up. We even have the starter and I'm pretty sure I already said that. I asked some questions on the Facebook pages and like everyone said, they said don't use the manual harness. There's no point just wiring some resistors. So got these from Jcar. $2 for these part numbers. You got that one. Double R0588. Double R0580. 2K2 resistor and a 4K7 resistor. So we're gonna wire these into the automatic transmission wiring harness and hopefully we can get this thing started. It's not gonna be running today, but I do wanna hear the engine purr with the manual transmission in there. All right, that was some quick little cuts in video, but we have the wiring completely done now and we're gonna try to start the car because it should start now. I'm not really gonna tell you what I've done here because there are plenty of videos online telling you exactly how to do this that are a lot better than how I would explain it. But we've got a resistor here, we've got another resistor down in here and we've just bridged two wires. So there's about two, four, six, eight wires that you need to chop up. I haven't got the clutch cable connected or anything, but we're gonna give the car a start to make sure it does run and there's not any weird noises or anything. It's just good practice to not, you know, put everything back together when you don't know if the car's gonna even run or not. So hopefully it starts. Fingers crossed. Kind of nervous. Let's see what happens. Oh no! Oh god. It's not starting. <laughs> god damn it! Ah, what have I done wrong? Oh no. 
All right, so I think that's gonna be it for today because we need to do so much stuff with Lachlan's R32 Skyline. I'm very happy with how today went. We got the car started, we've got the transmission running and it's all in there and it should work good. Number three is that we know where we're going, sort of. There's a few things else that we need to do, so we need to get the pedal box in. We're gonna use the automatic transmission pedal box, but it seems a little bit hard to get to some of the places that we need to get to because it's obviously, you know, where the pedals are. But I might roll this thing out today and just keep it on the street while we're waiting to get the tail shaft done. So we need to get that shortened 60 millimeters. Then we should have a manual Falcon, folks. We're gonna try start lock on Skyline in the end of today's video, so stick around. Hopefully we can get it started. Yeah. I don't know how I managed to do this, but for some reason, every time I finish on a video or like finish the day, I forgot to conclude. I forget to include. Conclude. Forget to conclude. I didn't record this, but we got the AU Falcon rolled out here. I had the help of Ash and Lachlan to push this thing out here. It's got the manual gearbox in there. We just don't have the tail shaft. I actually went to drop that tail shaft off today. So we should be getting that back tomorrow and we'll be able to, of course, put everything in and we might be able to drive it for the first time. I'm super excited to do that, but we also need, of course, put the uh, manual pedal in and clutch cable, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. As for the other 32, you saw that little clip. We actually got it started off, turned over. It was not actually running on its own fuel. We were using um, Start Your Bastard. That's what Nulon calls their product. <laughs> and we got the thing to run for like two seconds on starter fluid, but it wasn't actually, of course, running by itself. So Lachlan's ordered a new fuel pump. He's also gonna change some fuel lines and the fuel filter, and hopefully it'll be able to run um, by itself. But for now, the R32 is a paperweight, just like his MR2, which doesn't have an engine in there. But <laughs> of this whole plan of being a drift car, of building this drift car is to get the mini spool in there too. And then the Falcon should be pretty well set up for drift and then we'll be able to take it to events and stuff, which is cool. We're getting to that end sort of, you know, bit with the build for now. Um, and of course, we've got plenty other projects on the way. But quick little update on the chase because I feel like I haven't been able to talk about this too much. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. These new hoodies, we actually announced that they were getting released a lot earlier on Instagram. So go follow me there if you're not following me. There's only four larges left. That seems to be the most popular size. We do have plenty of mediums and only a few extra larges as well. So go grab one now as well as some stickers and new stickers as well. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate the support. Catch you later. Hey, give me some dance moves, Maggie. Dance moves? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Sitting down? Yeah, just move your hands, bro. I'll put music over it. <laughs>